I slept all night on a big white ship. Seagulls were dancing all around. I woke up. Cecilia is a very well cared for 2006 Hunter 46 LE, extensively upgraded and ready to cruise right now. Her LOA is 46 feet, beam 14 feet, mast height 63 feet. She is an owner's version, three cabin, two heads, never chartered. She's equipped with a 75 horsepower Yanmar diesel at 2200 hours, a true antimonious lead wing keel with a draft of 5 feet 6 inches, Kevlar reinforced hull from bow to keel, and a stainless steel rudder post. She is stout and fast, and perfectly suited for comfortable, full-time, autonomous liveaboard cruising anywhere you choose to sail. Entering through the fold-down stern seat, we have the folding wheel for easy access to the cockpit. Dual 110 plus AV shore connections, and two extremely deep aft lazarettes. Snap-on cushions are provided for the entire cockpit and the princess seats, as well as a hot and cold stern shower. Engine hours as of recording are 2200. Navigation is by way of a Raymarine 12 inch hybrid touch display, complete with all Caribbean charts. Also at the helm station are the autopilot, the infrared remote for the Lumar windlass, controls for the side power bow thruster. and the VHF command remote. Added in 2019 is this high-end LED dimmable cockpit light, available in white and red, and works with wet or even gloved hands. Traveler controls lead above to the ruggedly built traveler arch, providing end boom sheeting for proper force on the boom and no traveler clutter in the cockpit or on the cabin. The jumbo magma grill was refurbished in 2022 with a new burner and new cover. And the life sling man overboard system is in like new condition. Cockpit clutter is again minimized with all four winches on the cabin top, including one powered electric winch. to which all heavy loads can be led if need be. Control lines for all sailing functions are led neatly to the cockpit. No need to ever go on deck while under sail. Just forward of the companionway hatch are the Ray Marine displays. Two programmable multi-displays currently showing speed and depth, as well as wind speed and direction. Looking aft at the center console, you have four cup holders and two foldable tables, all in clean white starboard. At the stern, we see the semi-custom solar and dinghy arch added in fall of 2019. It's topped with 960 watts of Panasonic HIT solar panels also added in 2019. as well as the Redport Halo Wi-Fi extender. The arch is also fitted with a six to one purchase dinghy davit system, lifting the dinghy far out of reach of following seas. The Lumar folding wheel allows for the feel of a generous sized wheel while not hindering movement in the cockpit. Access to the side decks is easy and not hindered by winches or lines. The side decks are flat and wide and not blocked by any obstacles, including shrouds.
Numerous handholds are provided, all in beautiful condition. Most of the running rigging is new since 2019 and again runs neatly and cleanly back to the cockpit. All boat hardware is of high quality and in excellent condition. Snap-on shades are fitted to the skylights, allowing in light but not much heat. The Selden in-mast furler allows for easy setting of the sail, as well as infinite reefing positions, all from the cockpit. Moving further forward, all stainless deck hardware is in beautiful condition, polished and shiny. Shade coverings are provided for the larger top hatches, while the head and shower hatches are frosted for privacy. The bow is equipped with dual anchor rollers with new Delrin wheels. The anchor locker is cavernous with plenty of space for extra anchors, chain, and road. The Lumar H3 windlass is new as of spring 2021 and comes with foot controls as well as the infrared remote. The 25 kilogram Rockna anchor is new as of 2019 with 225 feet of G4 chain added in spring 2021. All spars and rigging are regularly checked and are in good working order, including the gooseneck. Two inflatable paddle boards are also included with the boat. And as we move aft, we get a look at one of the gates and some of the furling hardware, and another view of the spacious cockpit. Also included are port and starboard side enclosures, providing excellent protection for windy, cold, or rainy weather, both at anchor and especially on passage. Continuing below decks, we come to the convenient opening doors with tinted windows and a lock. No hatchboards. The descending stairway is unlike any boat we personally know of, especially good for kids, animals, and anyone with mobility issues. The entire interior is spacious, airy, and bright, with headroom over 6'5 in most areas. The Altique woodwork is warm and inviting, with a surprisingly high level of fit and finish. Starting with the master suite, we have a semi-island queen berth. There's one-step access to the bed on both sides, and changing the bedding is very simple. As you can see, the entire cabin is extremely spacious, with tons of headroom and acres of storage in the form of drawers, closets, and shelving. The forward shelving unit acts not only as a beautiful display, but a four-screw access to both the bow thruster and tank vents. The cabin is incredibly bright and well-ventilated thanks to two extra-large overhead hatches. In addition to two Caframo Sirocco II fans, new in 2020.
As with the rest of the boat, all hardware is high-end and in great condition. The ensuite head is extremely spacious, with tons of storage both above and below the Corian countertops. The toilet itself is an electric Jabsco freshwater macerating head. It's spotless, in like new condition, and with a slow close lid and seat. The private enclosed shower is to starboard. It has tons of elbow room, 6-3 standing headroom, a new shower head rail and hose in 2021, and a teak bench for showering underway. The hanging closets in all three cabins are extra deep and lined with cedar to keep clothes smelling fresh. As in the main cabin, the teak woodwork is of a very high quality. Heading back into the main salon, we get a look at the large couch, nav station, and the spacious dining area, which also folds down into a full-size berth. While dockside, air conditioning is provided by two units totaling 24,000 BTU. Cabinet space and shelving are abundant on both sides of the salon. The 32-inch Philips Smart TV swings out on a rugged mounting bracket and includes a Sony soundbar with subwoofer. Two more Caframo Sirocco 2 fans keep the cabin cool, and all electrical functions take place at the nav station. The boat is equipped with numerous safety items, including five fire extinguishers and an EPIRB. The day head also serves as a second shower and includes a second Jabsco electric head with freshwater flush and macerator. A separate room contains the sink, counter, cabinets, and storage hooks. The day head also has a private entrance from the VIP cabin.
The enormous galley has excessive counter space and room for two people to work without so much as bumping elbows. There are six deep drawers and a cavernous lower cabinet for storage. Beneath the hidden trash can is a deep well for even more storage of larger items. Dishes are stored in a drying cabinet and drying is assisted with an infrared system. The Black & Decker microwave is new as of fall 2019 as is the large isotherm front-loading refrigerator. The Force 10 three-burner stove and oven is fueled by propane and was refurbished in spring of 2021 with all new distributors and caps. The front-loading Coolmatic freezer has tons of space for all your frozen goods and plenty of ice cube trays. All countertops throughout the boat are Corian. The double stainless steel sink is huge and is equipped with a stainless steel faucet and sprayer new in 2019. The numerous opening side hatches on the boat allow in a tremendous amount of natural light, as well as an amazing amount of cross breeze. And all come with collapsible shades. All hatches, windows, and port lights are 100% leak free. There's custom dimmable LED lighting on the perimeter, new in 2021, as well as red LED courtesy night lights throughout the boat, new in 2019. The VIP cabin also has six foot four standing headroom, along with a queen sized bed with inner spring mattress. Storage cabinets and shelving are abundant. And three opening hatches allow in tons of natural light and ventilation. Assisted by two more cabin fans. The hanging closet is deep and again lined with cedar. As with the rest of the boat, the teak woodwork shows a high level of fit and finish and is in excellent condition. Again, the private entrance from the VIP cabin to the day head.
The third cabin is equipped with a full-size bed and similar cabinetry and shelving as the VIP cabin, as well as three opening hatches. The entire headliner in the main salon has been completely replaced as of March 2022. Made of high-quality marine upholstery, it matches that in the master cabin, also in perfect condition. And starting with the steps on the stairway, all floors throughout the boat are in excellent condition, showing virtually no signs of wear. Beneath the floor panels, we find the macerators for the black water tanks, storage, water tanks, as well as the starting battery with echo charger, air conditioning water pump new in 2019, Y-valve and strainer for air conditioner and water maker, and the manifold for the five water tanks, which hold 200 gallons of fresh water. This compartment also features extra sound insulation for the water pumps. Moving to the next compartment, we have the main house battery fuse, as well as a high capacity dual bilge pump system. Moving farther forward are four of our Firefly Oasis house batteries, and all the way forward are the final two house batteries, storage, black water macerator, and the forward shower sump plus removable transducers for speed and depth. Like most of the underfloor compartments, this through-haul area has automatic service lighting. There's excellent access to the engine under the stairway. The engine currently sits at 2200 hours and all basic service has recently been performed. The 12 volt oil exchange system makes oil changes easy. And the brand new 100 amp Balmar alternator with M618 regulator provides incredible backup charging power to the house bank. Beneath the dining area is the Spectra 380C 12 volt DC water maker. It provides 15 gallons per hour of fresh water and can easily run for hours a day on solar alone with no need to recharge the bank at the end of the day. Since 2019, most all parts are either new or rebuilt, including a new membrane in December 2021. It's amazingly efficient and incredibly quiet. I slept all night on a big white ship. Seagulls were dancing all around. Thank you so much for watching. For complete specs and equipment list, please see the description below. If you're ready to cruise right now, so is this boat. Ideally situated in the Caribbean and fully ready to go. To make an offer or if you just have questions, please see the contact info in the description below. Happy sailing! I'm at the right place.